Welcome to Hart County Public Library Outreach Virtual Storytime. We are so glad that you could join us. A Dance in My Red Pajamas is a story about a very lively little girl and her equally lively grandparents and a special relationship they share. The book is written by Edith Thatcher Hurd and illustrated by Emily Arnold McCulley. Don't be too noisy, little Jenny, Mother says. Don't jump around and shout when you go to visit your granny and your grandpa, Father says. I only smile and say, of course not, because my mother and my father do not know what my granny and my grandpa and I do when I go to visit them. My mother and my father think my granny and my grandpa are very old. They don't seem old to me, except my granny's hair is white and my grandpa's just a little deaf, so he sometimes shouts at me. When I go to their house, I take my red pajamas, I take my toothbrush, and I take my lion, too. I ring the bell, and when he sees me, Grandpa shouts, Hey, Granny, look who's here. I shout right back, It's me, Jenny. I've come to spend the night. My Granny hugs me. My Grandpa's tall. He looks down and smiles at me. When I go inside the house, I look around. I like the way it's always just the same. It smells of things that Granny's cooking, chicken and blueberry pie. There are flowers, wild roses and daisies. Grandpa takes me by the hands. Let's play the whirling game, he shouts. I go whirling, whirling, whirling. And I'm singing, singing, singing. Oh, I'm busy, 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 getting dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. When Grandpa puts me down, I wobble and topple, and I sing my whirling song. Oh, I'm busy, 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 getting dizzy, dizzy, dizzy until I fall into Granny's lap. Come on, Jenny, Grandpa says. I'm going to build a house outside for Katerina. Katerina is Granny's big, fat, yellow cat. Nonsense, Granny says. Why can't Katerina live in our house the way she always has? Because she wants to come in when she is out grumbles Grandpa. Then she wants to go out when she is in. Cats are like that. Nonsense, Granny says again. Katerina will never live in a house by herself. Build a house for a mouse instead. Grandpa and I laugh, but we don't pay any attention. Grandpa gets his hammer and I get mine. We bang and we bang and we bang. But Granny is right. Katerina just yawns when we try to put her into the house that we built for her. I help Granny fix supper. I help her roll out the crust and whip the cream for the blueberry pie. I put knives and forks and spoons on the big kitchen table. Grandpa and I smack our lips and laugh at each other when we have finished because we are all blue from the blueberry pie. When we have washed the dishes, Granny runs the water in the old-fashioned bathtub. It is big enough to swim in. It has feet like four claws underneath it. Boats sail with me. Fish and ducks swim around and around me. Soap bubbles cover me. I splash like the waves at the beach in the summer. I make fountains like a whale swimming under the water. Grandpa shouts from downstairs, Stop sloshing the water, Jenny! It's dripping down on my head. I stop slopping about because Grandpa doesn't have any hair on the top of his head. I put on my red pajamas. 
I brush my teeth. I help Grandpa bring in big logs for the fire. Why don't cats like to live in houses all by themselves? I ask Grandpa. Perhaps they get lonely, he answers. Then I tell Grandpa, I think cats and dogs like to live in houses with people. They like it best to be in houses where we are. So do I, Grandpa says slowly. I sit on the floor with my lion on one side and Katerina on the other. We watch the fire spurting and spitting. We listen to the pops and the crackles. Granny begins to play the piano very softly and I dance in my red pajamas. When she plays louder, Grandpa and I dance. We clap and we stomp as loud as we can. Granny calls, swing your partner and away you go. Swing your partner and a do-si-do. -do. Then Granny and Grandpa dance. They dance without any music, just humming the tune to each other. When they are through, Grandpa says, That's the way Granny and I used to dance on soft summer nights long ago. I had never thought about Granny and Grandpa dancing together, but I am too sleepy to say anything more. So Grandpa picks me up, piggyback, and takes me upstairs. Katerina is already there. Granny tucks me into my bed. We give each other hugs and lion too. Good night, Granny, I say. Good night, Jenny, she says. But Grandpa says, Oh, what a beautiful, lovely, noisy day!